Hey everybody, this is Jay over at Pistol Star, and I'm the VP of Cloud Computing. I want to thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel and to welcome you to the first in a series of videos dealing with the design and implementation of a secure portal. Part 1 in our series is focused on some of the design considerations that many IT professionals face when it comes to designing and implementing their portal. Portals are a great way to aggregate and present information in a quick and efficient manner and many companies and educational institutions have come to rely on them to engage a wide variety of end users. Whether these portals are for employees, students, customers, or even suppliers, they have proven an effective way of getting, sharing, and disseminating data. You know, as good as they are in doing this, the challenge really comes in not only presenting the data and applications in an efficient and user-friendly way, but more importantly, managing who has access to the data. As more and more information is made available on these portals, administrators quickly come to the realization that they need an effective way to secure this information without creating extra hurdles for their end user groups to jump over. In this video, we'd like to present to you some of the major consideration points that we believe will help you make sound decisions when it comes to either your existing portal or possibly one that you're considering putting into production. So here's a bird's eye view of the big five, as we like to call them. And as I go through the video, I'm going to toss out some questions for you to consider and how they may or may not relate to your configuration. In future videos, we'll be delving deeper into each of these topics. But for now, we just wanted to get your portal juices flowing, if you will. So here they are, the big five in no particular order. Data security, compliance, portal integration, end user experience, and last but not least, technical. You know, the great thing about these questions is that there are no right or wrong answers. As you begin to consider your portal experience and structure, hopefully these questions will give you a better understanding of the needs that you may have. Portals are like fingerprints in a way. Each one of them presents different types and sources of data and applications. Knowing how sensitive your data is and who has access to it can help you determine what measurements you need to take to protect it. Things like, you know, will your portal be public or private? How will your users verify their credentials? Will your portal act as an identity provider? And finally, what will users have access to? Will they have access to email, data, applications, all of it? It's up to you to understand. In understanding these answers, are going to help you build a portal that meets all your data security needs. So now I'm going to flip to a slide that I know everybody loves, a topic that everybody loves, compliance. It's everybody's favorite topic. I know you love it as much as we do here at Pistol Star. So I'm going to try to make this trip as painless as I can. You know, the key thing to remember here is that compliance drives a lot of design decisions, whether we recognize it or not. You know, the days of just posting up an unsecure business, medical, or educationally focused portal are long gone. Understanding how things like HIPAA, COPPA, FERPA, or PCI drive your market and your decisions and what you can and can't do is critical. Whether you're complying with your own internal requirements or those enforced by a governmental agency, you need to make sure you have a well thought out and executed plan in meeting those needs. Here we keep traveling through the big five and we come to portal integration. You know, these next couple of slides that I'm going to show you, they're pretty closely related in that we start to walk the end user's journey. You kind of have to slip inside their mind a bit and consider some key design elements that not only make their journey easy to follow, but also one that instills a level of confidence with them. When you look at your portal's UI, is the interface consistent? Do they see familiar logos, typography, and iconography? What you're driving here is that you want them to recognize and really know that it's your site they're logging on to. Secondly, and of equal importance, once they're in, how easy is it to get to what they want? Does that one login open one door or does it open many? Do they have access to many different things, data, applications, information, or do they have to keep entering and re-entering credentials? Can they customize the interface in a way that they see the data and applications that are most important to them? As a project manager or developer, it's critically important to remember 
that not all users have the same technical expertise or savvy. Keeping their perspective in mind will help you design a portal experience that is both safe and rewarding. Well, have faith everyone, we're almost done here. The final questions that we think deserve careful consideration are the technical ones. Understanding things like how many users you have, the user usage traffic pattern, and how mission critical having access to your portal are all going to contribute greatly to making your portal, portal a, <laughs> a reliable destination and not a source of frustration. Sometimes the mundane things like knowing how often you back up your data or if you're experiencing higher downtime than you like, they often play a critical role in how well your portal is received and accepted. You know, you can build the prettiest house in the neighborhood, but if you can't open the front door or if the lights don't work, people aren't going to want to visit it. The same is true for a portal. You know, and it's funny to think about it, but oftentimes the, the design elements can outweigh the practical technical ones, so you need to be sure you give these technical ones good consideration. It's these small details that are often the difference between a good portal experience and a great one. So I'm going to close this video with a thought and a promise. First, the thought, and I'll let you read it here. Um, you know, data breaches, hacking, phishing, you all know the risks. They're all expensive. Whether it's a cold hard cash payment in terms of the repair cost to your infrastructure or the cost to your organization's reputation or intellectual property, we encourage you to think about the big five when considering portal design and to make sure your IT assets remain secure and viable. My promise is that we'll be back with more video content to help you better understand how to tackle the big five. For now, I just want to say thank you, and we look forward to our next video.